NPT reports. Aging matters. I get up every day to give a voice to those people suffering from addiction and because the biggest obstacle we face is stigma. One of the popular to topics I have is addiction is not a moral failure. It starts out as being a choice. I mean, the first time you pick up, you pick up. But what people don't realize is that neurons and pathways in our brain, neurons that, 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 that fire together, wire together. And so over time, what started out as a choice becomes not a choice. The area of our brain that, that it hijacks is our reward system. And they're called endorphins. So what are some things that cause that, those, those endorphins to be released? Food. All right, so we, you know, we look down, it's 11.30, that's a cue, we start smelling food, we haven't eaten, we know, right, we, we're animals, we know. So imagine how strong those cravings are. Imagine what you'll do for food to sustain yourself at that time, and now I want you to amp them up tenfold. Tenfold, because somebody who's addicted to opioids, be it pain medication or heroin, their cravings for their drug are tenfold stronger than your cravings are for food when you're hungry and water when you're thirsty. You lose the input from the frontal lobe of your brain and so you lose insight and judgment. You're driven solely by the reward system. And that's what happens to people in addiction. If people don't take away anything else from our time together, please take that away. Because the person who is actively addicted doesn't have insight and judgment and worse yet, they don't know it. But when I get you off of whatever the offending drug is, get you off of what you're addicted to, and give you time and treatment, allow your frontal lobe to wake up, now insight and judgment come back. Now you've got a chance when you go out into the world that has all those cues that are still there.